Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, December 31st, 2021. Before we get started on the puzzle today, I just wanted to mention that because this is New Year's Eve and this channel's first video was released on New Year's Day of 2021, when we complete today's puzzle it'll mark one full year of New York Times Solve With Me videos. It's hard to believe it's already been a whole year. It's been quite the learning experience. Of course, you're bound to learn some new things when you record yourself solving a crossword puzzle every day, but I've also learned a lot from the thoughtful and insightful comments you all have left on these videos. I want to let you all know how grateful I am for those comments and all the supportive messages you've sent me over the past year. It really does mean a lot to hear that these videos are appreciated. And even if you haven't left a comment, I'm just really happy you are here with me solving crosswords over the last year. Alright, I think it's time to send 2021 off with a bang. Let's get started. One across. Colorful custardy confection. Hmm, custardy. That's interesting. It's gonna be some kind of dessert, I guess. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Let's look at the downs here. Snap. Hmm. Like in a snap? Is it going to be a short amount of time? Hmm. I guess it could be about snapping as in getting really angry. Hmm. Component of three of the five French mother sauces. I've never heard of this before, mother sauces. It's going to have to be in most of them though, so it's got to be kind of a common ingredient, right? Hmm, that's never going to happen, an equivalent phrase. Is it just nope? <laughs> like uh-uh from yesterday's puzzle? I don't know. Double or triple drink? I think there's triple sec, right? Is there a double sec? There might be. Actress Taylor of TV's Bones. Hmm, I haven't really watched this show. Yeah. Agatha Christie novel named after Death's Mount in Revelation. Oh my god, that sounds pretty serious. I don't think I know this one. Yeah. Make blank for? Make a break for? Make amends for? Those are both too long. Hmm. It looks like we have crossing grid spanners here. Look at that. Let's see what this first one is. Danger for desert hikers. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be some kind of venomous snake. I don't know. It could be so many things. I guess it could be about running out of water, too. Ending with four or six, but not five. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be a suffix, I guess? Interesting. Boy, this one's starting out pretty tricky, isn't it? Kitchen brand whose name is an ambigram. Okay, an ambigram is a word that looks the same if you flip it upside down, right? If you rotate it 180 degrees. So I guess that's probably going to be OXO, right? That would be the same if you flipped it. Okay. Does that help at all on these downs? This X is pretty unusual. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Is it going to be an ingredient in French? Or is it a roux? I think that's a very basic sauce base. I'm not 100% sure what goes into it, but yeah, I've definitely seen this word before. Let's try that out. Classic diner orders. Hmm, is this going to be diner lingo? I wonder. Is it going to be like a hamburger and fries or something? It's got to be some kind of diner slang. That's my guess. Waltz onomatopoeia? Oh my god. Um, Is this about a specific waltz? I don't know. Is this just um, no? <laughs> uh... Yeah, maybe. Those letters look pretty helpful here. 
Hmm. I just don't really know diner slang at all. Hmm. Well, colorful custardy confection. Boy, I don't know. We might have to work back up into here. Let's see if we can get this corner going over here. Sudden inspirations. Is it going to be bolts? Like a bolt of inspiration? Let's see if we can build off of that. Terry of Mr. Mom. Oh man. Um, Mr. Mom. Wasn't that with Michael Keaton? Hmm. I know there's an actress, Terry Polo. I don't know if she was in this though. Seems like that movie might be a little too old for her to have been in it. I guess it could be though. Could it be Terry Gar? She might be more of the appropriate age to have been in that movie. Could this start with a G? Sudden inspirations. Hmm, this would be an A. Love. That could be a door. Let's take out bolts for now. I don't think that's right. Let's see if this is an R. Apply as ointment. That should be rub in maybe. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and put Terry Gar in here. Okay. More might come before it. The word more maybe might come before it. Hmm. I don't know. This seems like it's a pretty tricky Friday so far. Does laundry or pays bills in modern lingo. That has to be adults, right? I'm adulting. Okay, clear-headed. That's got to be sober. Yeah, you're not besotted. Novel content? Is this going to be literally a novel, like a book? Hmm, I wonder. Novel content. It's not writing. Maybe this is gasps? Oh my god, it's inspirations as in breathing. <laughs> okay, I see this Friday puzzle has not come to play around. Alright, that is super tricky. What a great little bit of misdirection there. Okay, gasps. That's worthy of a gasp there. That's really good. Um, hmm, I'm still not sure if this is about a book or not. Novel. Hmm, tell. Is this about telling someone else something? Is it about a signal that you're unconsciously giving away? Like in poker, a tell? I don't know. What's this one here? Oh right, it's about more. Maybe it's more or less. There we go, okay. Um, this seems like it should be prose. That would be about a book, right? So maybe this is rub on instead of rub in. Oof, a tricky little mistake to catch there. Okay, this is prose. That's very good. Um, maybe it's a sense? Is that right? Things with rings? Trees definitely have rings. I get a sense? I get a tell? I'm not sure if that works. Hmm. Alright, well it looks good enough for now. Some Disney-inspired Halloween costumes. Disney inspired. Hmm, what is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a specific Disney character? Inspired, that's interesting. It's not about breathing again, is it? <laughs> okay, couldn't let go of. Hmm, this is pretty long. Shoot, it's kind of tricky to build out of here. There's only two little passageways out. Couldn't let go of. Hmm. Boy. Let's see if we can start getting the center here. Maybe we can find a place to get a toehold. Pit blank. Is it pit boss? Like in poker, maybe? I don't know if they have a hyphen there. It's not pit bull, right? Hmm. This hyphen's throwing me off. I'm not sure what this should be. Its employees might get under your skin. Um, I would really want this to be about a tattoo parlor. Uh, P-A-R, yeah, that's too short. Hmm. 
I wonder, is it about something else? It really seems like it should be about a tattoo parlor. Tattoos, hmm. Group portrayed in slacker and reality bites familiarly. I think those people would have been Gen Xers, right? Could it be Gen X? All right, that's a good toehold. Blank me, request to a fridge goer. Um, a fridge goer. Is it open me? Request to a fridge goer. Hmm. That one's a little confusing. Legal action. Hmm. Man. I'm just so paranoid now. Is there something really tricky here? Legal action. I don't know. Proficient. That means you're good at something? Hmm. Blank review. Oh my god, this could be so many things. Peer review, maybe? That sounds pretty good. Those letters are very good. Um, modern blank could be modern era. Hmm. One quadrillion prefix? Oh my god. Quadrillion? Um, well, giga is a billion, right? Um... And isn't quadrillion above billion? So what would that be? Peta? I want to say petabyte is next. Let's try it. Um, hmm, it's not open me. Unless peer is wrong, which it might be. Legal action. That could be an appeal. Maybe everything's okay here. Proficient. Maybe that could be able... Bean me? That can't be right. Um, hmm. Let's look at this grid spanner. This could be an L. Looks the other way. Um, is it not Gen X? Really? I don't think that could be Millennials, could it? No, those movies are too old. It can't be Gen Y. It has to be Gen X, unless it's something else entirely. It does look like it's going to start with the let, though, right? Its employees might get under your skin. Hmm. Maybe it's not about tattoos after all. Jeez. Boy, this is a tricky little section, too. United Competitor Once. Um, so this is going to be about a defunct airline. Is it going to be TWA? I think it almost has to be. Gen X is actually looking pretty bad here. Yeah, this seems like it should be let it something. Let's take out Gen X, even though I don't know what else it could be. Um, hmm. A blank place is in the House and in the Senate. Bumper sticker. I don't think I've ever seen this bumper sticker. I have no idea what this is talking about. A blank place is in the House and in the Senate. Hmm. It's got to be a pun about something being in your house. And then the punchline is that it's actually talking about Congress. Hmm. Sharon's predecessor as Israeli PM. Oh boy. Um, I might recognize this name. Sharon. Oof. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to need a little bit more help. I wonder if we can get this section over here. Pep. Could that be Vim? Like Vim and Vigor? Rosso o Bianco. Oh boy. Um, these look like colors. Uh, I want to say it's Italian, maybe? Is it red or white? Uh, yeah, that could be wines, right? Um, is it vins? Could that be wines in Italian? I think it might be. I'm a little bit out on a limb here. Okay, driver's license figure. Hmm. Driver's license. Hmm. I'm not sure. Renfair concession. I think that has to be mead, right? You could drink mead at a Renfair, yeah. 
Actress Kendrick. I think there's an Anna Kendrick. One of the Blues Brothers. Okay, um, is this the actual character name? I don't really know the character names. Uh, I know it was John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Is it Aykroyd? Ooh, could Vins be wrong? Maybe it's Vino. Ooh, there we go. Is it Aykroyd? Excellent, okay. Um, hmm, what is this? Figure, it's abbreviated. Hmm, heavens, an equivalent phrase. It's not hark, right? That doesn't really make sense to me. Yeah, not yet manifest. So it hasn't happened yet? Um, I don't know. Looks the other way. Let it, it seems like it should be let's it actually. Hmm, but then TWA would have to be wrong. Looks the other way. It almost seems like it should be let's it slide, right? That's much too short. Maybe we could try putting slide in here. I don't know how it's gonna begin. Um, maybe this could be Lord, is it not Anna? I-D-N-Y. Oh boy, that looks really wrong too. I was pretty sure about Anna Kendrick too. Shouldn't this be ID number maybe? Uh, is it really not Dan Aykroyd? Oh my god. Oh no, this feels like it's becoming a disaster. <laughs> um, all to put Lord in here. I don't know if that's actually right. Relative by marriage. Shouldn't that be an in-law? Um, hmm. It's not an in-law, really? That is so weird. I wonder if something strange is going on today. I mean, it's supposed to be a themeless Friday puzzle, but it is a holiday. It's New Year's Eve, so they might have snuck a theme in here somewhere. Relative by marriage. Hmm. Maybe it could just be like stepson or something. That would be a relative by marriage. Or it could be a stepmom or a stepdad. Yeah, actually, if this is Lord, maybe it should be a stepdad. Oh boy. Um, lard? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe slide is wrong. Let's take that back out. Um, I'm not sure what it should be instead, though. Oof, this is tough. Trio of horrors. And this is wordplay, so I think it's going to be about three things that are in the word horrors. That could be R's, right? Would you spell it A-R-S? I think so. Um, hmm, yeah, that didn't help too much there. Like blue and green ski trails vis-a-vis -vis black diamonds. Those would both be easier, right? Yeah. Black diamonds are the hardest you can get on a ski slope. Okay. Target. Could that be aim at? All right, we're making a little bit of progress. Hmm. A wombat place is in the house? I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the bottom here. South America's Rio de la Blanc. That does not look familiar to me. Shoot. Hmm, is it not Ackroyd? Boy, I don't know. Stain. That's very ambiguous. Hmm. Sprinkling. Sprinkling, so this is just a little shower of something? It's not wet, right? That's not the right part of speech. Dictionary abbreviation? Oh my god. Is it just adjective? Could this be a J? Couple in the back of a car. This seems like it's a misdirection for sure. 
I don't think it's going to be about a couple of people in the back of a car. Maybe it's about a couple of things in the rear of a car. I would want it to be tail lights, but I think that's one letter too long. Um, would it be like rear wheels? That's also too long. Hmm. It's going to be something like that, though, I think. In the back of a car. Hmm. Could this be a D? Make thin. Is it desiccate? Ooh. Um. Maybe. I'm very unsure about that, but we're kind of desperate at this point. We're thinking this might be an A. Street featured in Fellini's La Dolce Vita. That's also 50 across. Um, where to do as others do, it said. Isn't it when in Rome? Um, maybe it's just in Rome. Okay, so street featured in Fellini's La Dolce Vita. That's also in Rome. Okay, um, that doesn't help too much. It's just a street that is in Rome. Okay, well, let's see if we can build off of Desiccate, maybe? Rapa Blank, Easter Island. Isn't that Rapa Nui? Yeah, I think it is. Shoot, okay. Oof, that's tough, taking Desiccate out. Okay. Have no blank of perfection. You'll never reach it, Dali. Um, maybe it's Hope? Sprinkling. Hmm. Suffix with Towel. Is it Towelette? Like a moist Towelette? Melancholyx List. Um, okay. Is it Cons? Is it like somebody that's pessimistic? Although TN is so bad looking. Yeah. Hmm. Melancholyx List. I don't know. I think one of these has to be wrong. It's probably Cons. Hmm. At least this is plural, couple in the back of a car. I don't know, shoot. Well, maybe we can build off of in Rome? Spurns. Hmm, like you would a lover, maybe? I don't know. Long time inside the NBA commentator? Oh boy, I don't know this one. I'm so bad with basketball. Writer Jong. Hmm. I don't think I recognize this name either. Eponym of the World Series MVP Award. Eponym. Does the World Series MVP Award have a name? I don't know if I knew that. It starts with M. Hmm. Canon competitor? Is it Xerox? They both make copiers, right? That would leave us with an X here at the end, though. That would be really, really bad. Um, it's not Epson either, is it? Hmm. Still sticky. Still sticky. Hmm. Gummy? I don't know. Still sticky. That's so weird. Crushes it. It's about succeeding somehow. Boy, we need some of that. Did we look at this along down? Oh yeah, it's Death's Mount. Oh boy, okay. Well, let me poke around and see if I can find a place to get a toehold here. Hmm, I wonder, is it gonna be Let's Things Slide? It is looking like that fits pretty nicely. Let's Things Slide. It is Vino, it is Idney, this can't be right. Lard. Hmm. Let's take out these two. Um, this should be Lord, right? Uh, this is looking so weird. Um, ID number, is it not Ackroyd? Oh my God. All right, let's take out Ackroyd. Um, I don't know. Boy, let's come back to this. We need some more confirming evidence. Um, yeah, let's try and build out this center here, maybe. We did get some more letters over here. 
Gen Xers. Do we have Rebuses today? What is going on? Oh, you know what this is going to be? I think this is going to be Beer Me. That's Andy's catchphrase on The Office, right? You could shout that at someone going to the fridge. Oh my god, okay. So this is Able, proficient. Beer Me. Um, is this Xers? Oh my god. Ugh, that was so hard. It's not Gen X, it's Xers. I guess that's why they said familiarly. Oh, that was so hard to see. So this starts with an X. Um, under your skin. So maybe this is about x-rays? Could this be an x-ray lab, maybe? Oof, that is tough. Maybe this is going to be obsessed over, couldn't let go of. There we go. Maybe this is Elsa's. <laughs> okay, Elsa's plural, yeah. I guess it was tricky to figure out a way to clue Elsa in the plural. That's why we get this Halloween costumes clue. Okay. Um, straighten is going to be a line. There we go. A woman's place is in the house and in the Senate. There we go. Very nice. Love it. Okay, that's great. Um, is it horse? I bet it is. On a pale horse. Is that what it's going to be? On a pale horse. That looks great. Okay. Um, I'm still not 100% on this one. Sharon. Hmm. Okay, so... Is this going to be rattlesnakes? Oh, this should be woman's place, not women's place, right? Yeah. A woman's place. That makes more sense. Okay. So maybe this is going to be rattlesnake... Bite? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. All right, we're finally making some progress here. Stain. Could that be a blot? Like a blot on your record? Yeah. I don't think we're going to get this one. So this is not Ackroyd. Oh my god, that helps so much. So maybe this is... Vins? No, it's asking or, right? Oh, it has to be or. So it should be singular. Maybe it is Vino. Is it Elrond? <laughs> like the elf? I don't think so. Um, boy, I wish I knew more about the Blues Brothers. Not yet manifest. Hmm. Well, we got some extra letters here. I really don't know much about Italian streets, though. Oh boy. Okay, maybe this is attenuate. Things that are attenuated are very thin. Yeah, oof, that is a $20 word. Very nice. Okay, so this is not adjective. That's helpful to know too. Um, hmm. Rio de la blank. Is it like plata or something? Does it have to do with gear shifting somehow? Is it gear? I don't know. Hmm, let's come back to this corner. I think this might have to be our last corner. Although, yikes. I don't even want to think about that section right now. Oh boy, okay. Can we come back up here maybe? Hmm, pit blank. Is it like pit a pat? Is it like the sound of rain? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe this could be make a play for. Maybe it is Pitapat. Hmm. I don't know if I know this person. We have a lot of crossing help here, though. Classic diner orders. It should be plural. It seems like probably something here is wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Onomatopoeia. It's like a word that sounds like something, right? Like a sound effect. Hmm. Maybe it's like an onomatopoeia to help you remember the proper steps or something. I don't know. This is looking like it might end in tart, maybe? Could it be something other than on a pale horse? I thought that was right, though. I was pretty sure about that. 
Looking at this name now that we have some more letters filled in, I think this might be Barack. I wanna say it's like Ehud Barack maybe. Squarish, we haven't looked at this clue yet. Squarish, it's not boxy. I don't know, that doesn't help too much. Shoot, okay. Okay, I found another clue that we hadn't looked at yet. One of the Cohen brothers is definitely gonna be Joel. Um, because it's Joel and Ethan Cohen. Um, Spurns is looking like it can be jilts, like a jilted lover, like we were talking about before. I want to say this is O'Neill. I want to say it's like Pat O'Neill. I don't know how to spell his name though. Oh boy. Um, Squarish. Maybe that's Blocky, there we go, okay. Um, maybe this is a camera company, this could be Leica. That's another camera maker. Okay, so this is O-N-E, maybe it's an A. Still sticky, could be tacky. If something's tacky, it's sticky to the touch, okay. This should be an L, I think. Maybe crushes it, could be slays. Yeah, and I think I have heard of Erica Jong. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to tell you anything that she wrote, though. Yeah, I do recognize that name. And then what else do we have here? I think this must be named after Willie Mays, right? He must be the eponym of the MVP award. That would make a lot of sense. All right, let's see if we can find somewhere else to start building off of. Ooh, all right, I've been wrestling with this corner for a while. Um, I took out a bunch of stuff to try and get some fresh looks at what we had in here. And I took out on a pale horse. Um, I thought that was right, but I think it was holding us back. Um, I think with that gone, I was able to see that this might be melts. And then that made me think it could be tuna melts. Um, Maybe this is going to be the pale horse. And then that made me think this might be like oompa pa or something. Like that would be the rhythm that the waltz would go in. Um, and putting an H here made me think maybe it could be fourths or sixths, but not fives, right? So you could put TH here as the suffix. Oh man, that was really hard to see. Um, I guess this is going to be some kind of art. I'm not sure on the rest of this stuff. Um, I was thinking maybe this person's name could be Samara. Um, yeah, I'm not clear on what the rest of this should be. Maybe this could be double IPA, triple IPA. Maybe it could be India Pale Ale. I'm just thinking Pa Pa at the end looks pretty good. Maybe this is Samara. Oh man, okay, um, it has to be custardy. Yeah, I mean, maybe this could be a uh, no or um no, like we were thinking before. Maybe it is actually um pa pa. Um, maybe this was Rue after all. Jeez, I took that out pretty early. It was hard to see what was gonna be wrong though. Um,. And then what is this gonna be? Fruit tart? Oh God, it's a fruit tart. So this is Tamara. Ah, man, yeah. Boy, knowing that name would have helped a lot. Okay, so this is a fruit tart. Yes, because fruit tarts are kind of made of custard, right? And this is going to be photo with an F a very informal word for a picture to match snap, yeah. Oh man, that is just brutal. Okay, fruit tart, umpapa, yeah, this all looks okay. All right, I think we finally have this corner buttoned up. All right, let's see if we can make some progress down here now. We might have to do some more fast forwarding. Okay, looking at this answer here, not yet manifest, it looks like it could be latent, right? That's something that like 
hasn't happened yet, but it's kind of laying in wait. Um, and then this is starting to look like tires, couple in the back of a car. We were thinking it was wheels before, right? Maybe it's rear tires. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe this dictionary abbreviation could be variant to like indicate a variant spelling of something kind of like photo here. Um, okay. So what is this going to be? Maybe via, we did think this could be plata before, right? Um, and then via makes sense for a street. Let's put in via. I'm not sure what the end is going to be. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. Okay. That makes sense. Um, maybe it's Veneta. I'm not sure. Sprinkling that could be few, like a sprinkling of something, a few of it. That could be, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe a melancholy list could be a list of woes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Via Veneto. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I've never been to Rome. So yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So this is looking like it might indeed be Elrond, like in Lord of the Rings. Was there really a Blues Brothers character called Elrond? Um, or is it Elrude? Uh, oh my god, what is going on here? Well, we can't blame it on Rebus's at this point. Uh, yeah, I think all of this stuff seems good. Um, is it ID number and it's Anna Kendrick? Heavens, it can't be lard. It just can't be. Um, hmm. Well, let's put in ID number and see if that does it for us. Um, I don't think it's going to. I really do think it's Anna Kendrick, but let's just see if I'm wrong about that. Oh shucks, yeah. All right, let me play around with this section a little bit and see if we can nail something down. Oh my God, is this gonna be a W? Is this gonna be like a dialecty version of Lord? It's Laud, L-A-W-D. Oh no, and then this could be L Wood, one of the Blues Brothers. Oh my God, I think it has to be because it lets us put in Anna and ID number. Oh my God, I don't know about this one. Oof, that's rough. I don't think there's enough indication here that this is kind of like dialecty. Oh my God, that was so hard. All right, let's put in Elwood and see if that in fact will do it for us. Oh my God, a Friday puzzle in over an hour. Of course the last puzzle of the year would be a doozy like this. All right, well, I'm kind of glad we got a nice challenge at the tail end of the year here. Let's take a look at this grid. Um, I am not crazy about this laud answer. Um, yeah, I just think the clue needs to be more dialecty because um, I don't know. I just really wanted to put Lord in here um, because this is just kind of something someone would say. It's not super dialecty, really. Um, and then not knowing Elwood really hurt us here. Yeah, not knowing a couple of these names really hurt. Tamara really hurt too, not knowing that one. That would have helped a lot up here. Oompapa, oh man. Yeah, I mean, none of these answers are like crazy or anything. Um, yeah, most of this stuff is very gettable. I don't know why we had so much trouble up here. I think getting on a pale horse instead of the pale horse really hurt too. It kind of prevented us from seeing the right answers up here, yeah. And then this one being Xers instead of Gen X. Oh man, that took us a while to see. Not knowing O'Neill definitely hurt in this corner down here. Yeah, man. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, we didn't know either of these answers, but yeah, we actually didn't have that much trouble in this corner. I think knowing Joel really helped. This is a little dicey, all these crossing names here. And Willie Mays also, boy, that's tough. Thankfully we knew these two shorter names and Barack is hanging out here. Oh my God, okay. I did really like this clue for rear tires though. 
couple in the back of a car. Yeah, we kind of had this clue's number. We didn't quite get it right away, but we kind of knew what we were looking for. Um, I really like attenuate too. That's another $20 word. That's a very good word to know. We were really forced to flex our Italian muscles on this puzzle today. My Italian muscles, unfortunately, are quite attenuated. Yeah, we had Via Veneto. We had this Vino clue. Thankfully, we were able to kind of logically step our way through this one. But yeah, I am not great with Italian, so that was very tough. Even though this answer caused us so much trouble, the Pale Horse is a pretty darn cool entry here. I really do like that one. It would have been better if I had known the the part. But yeah, this is a great entry. I also think Beer Me is very funny. And of course, I think the highlight of this puzzle for me was the clue for gasps. Sudden inspirations. This is so tricky. I love this kind of clue. This is so great. You just don't expect it to be about breathing. Five stars on that clue for sure. All right. Even though this may have been a blot on our smooth solving record, I don't think we would have wanted this puzzle to be any easier. I hope you enjoyed solving that very challenging Friday puzzle along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging, supposedly, puzzle of the week this Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. I hope all of you out there have a wonderful new year. And I'll see you in 2022.